Hello friends, welcome to Wikipedia. Our aim is to learn and motivate others to learn. So this channel is majorly covers various topics of mechanical engineering. So today we have one interesting topic. It's a comparison between various harness numbers. I have already posted individual videos on each and every harness harness topic. So this is a short video. It's it talks about and comparison between of different harness numbers. We will discuss about the comparisons, uniqueness of each and every harness numbers. So let us go into the topic. This comparison is majorly done between four different harness numbers. First one is Brennell, second one is Rockwell, and third one is Vickers harness, and final one is the Soar harness. So let us go through one by one each every parameter, each and every parameters, and just let us understand the uniqueness of each harness. So all four harness coming under the indentation test method, and this indentation test method is widely used in automobile and mechanical engineering field. So coming to the symbol, BHN is used for Brunel, HR is used for Rockwell, HV is used for Vickers, SOAR A and SOAR D is used for SOAR harness. In SOAR harness, there are more than 15 scales are being used, but majorly used scales are SOAR A and SOAR D. Coming to the load of test, Brunel harness tested under from 500 kg to 3000 kg but normally it is being tested under 3000 kg and Rockwell it is from 60 to 150 kg based on the scale there are HR, A, B, C scales are there 60, 100, 150 kg so there are different loads are being applied on different scales and coming to the Vickers harness this is a micro harness test method here 10 gram to 1 kg maximum load is being applied and so harness is majorly it is manual pressing so it there is no specific load is applied on this test method and coming to the intended type steel and carbide ball is used in BHN diamond cone or steel ball is used in Rockwell and diamond cone is used in Vickers harness and steel needle with a spring loaded arrangement is followed in durometer that is SOAR harness tester. So application BHN is widely up used in heavy casting heavy structural parts in the engineering field. Rockwell is all across the metals from machine parts steels aluminium copper in somewhere in plastics also the Rockwell harness is being used. Same way the Vicar harness, the, it, it does have a wide range of scale. So all the segment of parts, metals, Vicar harness is getting specified and used. So harness is only used for rubber and polymers, elastomers. Coming to the test specimen preparation, Brunel harness, it is checked on the flat surface on the part itself, though no requirement of test specimen preparation Rockwell there is no requirement of test test specimen preparation and weaker harness it's a small diamond tip with a lower load so it's mandatory to prepare the specimen for the testing here all here it's a sore harness manual checking method it's optional still for the accuracy you should go for a test specimen for checking sore harness of any rubber. So coming to the advantages, Brunel is having a accuracy for a heavy parts and easy to measure. The indentation can be measured by eye or small microscopic. So coming to the disadvantages here in Brunel harness, it is not suitable for thin parts, small parts and heavy hardened parts. The heavy hardened parts may damage the steel ball due to high load of testing. 
So coming to Rockwell Harness is very quick and cost effective method because the value is displayed on the, on the screen itself. There is no need of further indentation measurement record in this method. So it's a quick and cost effective method and it's suitable for all metals. Coming to the disadvantages, surface should be free from dust in this method and in case of indenter, worn or damage, so it affects the result because this method is depth differential method. So the indenter condition is very important in this method. So coming to Vickers harness method, it is very accurate and applied in all across the scale. It is having wide range of scale and it is being applied in all across the materials. Disadvantages, highly time for specimen making and costly equipment to measure the indentation. Coming to the sore harness advantages, it is very portable equipment, very cheap and less skill required to measure the uh, sore harness values. And coming to the disadvantages, it is not suitable for the thin plastic or rubber parts and here to get us accurate result we need to make a specimen so high lead time for specimen making these are the disadvantages so this table it completely covers key points of all harness test methods and i have already uploaded individual videos for each and every brunel harness rockwell harness and other all four methods I individually uploaded videos. Please see that videos. And thanks for watching. Please like and share the videos.